private cloud versus server farm. There's a lot of talk these days about private clouds and to a lot of people there isn't a difference between having a server farm and having a private cloud. The real difference between a private cloud and a server farm is virtualization. By virtualizing all of the servers that are running in your server farm, you are allowing for the ability to change the load more or less dynamically across the multiple pieces of hardware that you have. This can really be a great way to consolidate the number of servers that you have and better distribute the load across the hardware that you're running. It's also a way to make it so that the hardware becomes a commodity and when you have a hardware failure, any piece of hardware can step in to take its place. To say that there's a real difference between the private cloud and a well-managed server farm is really about how far back in history you look. I started running imaged servers in a virtual environment eight years ago. And because of that, for me, the way that you manage a server farm and the way you manage a private cloud are the same. But if you come from a traditional IT standpoint, you probably had a server that was labeled the mail server and a server that was labeled the accounting server and a server that was labeled the database server. And because of that difference in timing, the move to a private cloud has really started to be about virtualizing and doing some of the best practices that are even eight years old. It's only the move to the public cloud that we've really started to see a change in the philosophy of the people who were following the best practices in building out their server farms. In that now that we can use the public cloud for some of that stuff, we're taking the virtualization that we were using in back closets and putting it out onto the net so that we are not even responsible for the commodity hardware. So that's probably the biggest difference between a private cloud and a server farm is really just how old your IT guy is and whether they were an early adopter for virtualization.